Hello everyone, welcome back to another Complex Creations episode. Okay, so anybody that's following the Hardcore Survival series will know that we are trying to create a, some sort of like a relay based uh, ship that will allow us to connect um, different antennas together to get a big range so that we can find asteroids outside. So long story short, if you imagine this is the planet that we're on at the minute and we're trying to connect with the moon uh, or see even with Mars or whatever that is up there. Um, let's just say it's a thousand kilometers away. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to put um, small antennas on small ships or antenna on a small ship if you'd like and it has a range of 50 kilometers so if we were to go a thousand meters we'd have to get something like uh, 20 of them is that right yeah I right, because um, let me see now yeah we need to get 20 to go between here and there so what we'd have to do is we have to make a very cheap um, station small grid preferably because it's cheaper a small grid station that is capable of powering itself and the antenna and can also be moved remotely. So these are the steps we have. Now we have created something similar in uh, the Hardcore Survival series but the only issue is we got attacked by Ravage and well it doesn't exist anymore so we are starting off from a, pretty much a blank slate. So um, what we will have to do is just to sort of describe what's happening we will have to make some sort of a mothership now remember the rules of well our rules of the hardcore survival series is we're not allowed to use flying ships and we're not allowed to, well when i say flying ships we're not allowed to fly them within the atmosphere unless we're going straight into space so that's one thing second of all we can't pilot it uh, from the cockpit we have to do it remotely so that's the other thing as well so what i'm thinking of doing is uh, building some sort of a wee mothership. Now this is um, just going to be like a ship that carries these wee small grid um, What do you say stations about? I'm just going to call them uh, small grid uh, Repeater stations. So it needs to carry those if they need to be able to support their own power They also need to go on a program block a script block uh, And a gyro so that we can put um, is this is he solar alignment script But we use it for the gyro version So that means that what will happen is it'll actually turn the ship and face towards the Sun and that'll give the panels the energy they need to stay uh, lit up uh, we will need batteries as well to store the power and Well, yeah, we just need to make sure that it, it's capable of um, Running that so let's do a couple of tests here first. So let's just get rid of this battery and uh, let's get uh, this, get rid of that. So this is on its own power at the minute. Good. Now, let's what we'll do. Or what we'll do is we'll get a solar panel here. So this will be something that we will be using. So I'm gonna get this, uh, but I'm gonna turn it over here. I'm gonna imagine that we're getting okay, semi-okay sun. So let's see. Is that lit up? Uh, we get one bar. Okay. Bit of a bad example because I'd rather. Well, let me see if we can get that sun to go straight up. Uh, let me see, empty admin. Can we get that to go straight up? Oh, where's that now? Not quite. Uh, let's put it a wee bit more. So that's right straight up. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, that's showing four. That's good. Now let's just see what um, that is producing at the minute. Uh, so that's producing thirty-five point. 33 kilowatts. So let's imagine it's 35. So I'm going to write that down here on the page. So that's 35 per panel. Now, let's get a antenna. Now this is going to be a really small grid antenna. Oh, we have one. Number nine. And let's stick that somewhere here. And let's just check to see what the consumption is on this. I need to add a panel. So that I can uh, connect in with this here. Uh, I'm just gonna stick that there in it. Oh. Just so we can get it into it. Uh, oh. oh, right, that's a bad example. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's see, a button panel is it? Uh, uh, is this for a small grid? Uh, I just need something that I can connect into. 
Let's try that. Oh, but I thought it was, um, what do you call the wee panel? We interface panel. The one that, there it is. What is that? Control panel. There we are. Let's get that on. Connected to that. Antenna. Let's back that up to 50 kilometers. And it is current input is zero. Because it can't get enough. I want to see what the consumption is. So I need to add a battery um, to the, this here so I can see what it needs. That'll do it. Now let's see what that's reading at the minute. Right, so it uses 200 kilowatts, right? So that's going to be uh, 200. Uh, let me get my calculator here. So that's 200 divided by 35. I think what we should do is we should divide it by 30. We should go down to 30 just as a worst case scenario. So that is... Uh, where's my calculator up? Here it is. So that is 200 divided by 30. So we will need 6.6 .6 panels. Uh, round that up to 7. Let's round that up to 8. So we need 4 on each side. So this is... It's a bit overkill, but that's how much we'll need. So 4 panels either side to uh, run this here. One antenna. So that is good to know. Now let's get rid of all this here stuff and start building it. There we go. Get rid of that. Delete that. And we'll start off with this here. So this is obviously going to be... Um, it's going to be light armor block. There's no point no, going up any any more than that there. Um, unable to place light armor block. There we go. Let's build it up a wee bit of a height. Now, um, it's not they're, they're not going to have any charging ports on them because we're going to make them as cheap as possible. So the only time they're going to get charged is whenever they're getting built. The other thing as well is, which I've forgotten to do, is I've <laughs> forgotten to measure um, to see if this here would fit in the tunnel for getting out. Because we are going to be building this inside the tunnel that we have over on in the base. So it needs to be able to fit down the tunnel and fly out because we're not going to be building it outside again in case ravers come to attack it. Uh, I'd rather build that inside the tunnel, push it out and then fly it up with the mothership. So what we need to do is we need to make a mock enclosure. As if it was inside a tunnel and build it inside it. So let me just quickly fly over to the hardcore survival world and just show you around. And we're in the hardcore survival world. So, um, this is the tunnel here we need to fly out of. So we're obviously going to have to build in here. It's going to be flat. And yeah, it needs to be able to come out here. So let me just see. Um, it is two blocks two and a half blocks high let's just go with two blocks and it is uh, one two three four five six seven blocks wide so it needs to be able to fit down here there's a wee bit of room so yeah it's gonna be very very difficult to do this um obviously it'd be good to sort of print it as well so what we could do is we can put uh, in this here world is some like ducking over and then print it out but uh, yeah, so that's good to know. So it's two by seven. Right, let's go back over to the complex creations. Right, so we're back again. So we know that this thing is a two by two blocks. Um, so I think what would make sense to do is build this here up. And uh, so it's going to be um, three blocks this way. And three blocks this way. And then two blocks up. Let's go with three blocks up. And let's see. Um, well, that will be level with it, sort of. So if you imagine that was the, the base. And then we put another one going over the top of this. But I want this to be very narrow so we don't get blocked out. I want to be able to see what I'm building. So this we'll use this here as like a height restrictor. Oh. There we go. So that's our height restrictor. So it needs to be able to fit in this here sort of square. Right, that makes things a wee bit complex because will the solar panels fit wide here? So I'm going to get a solar panel and I want the other type. Uh, there it is. So let's go with uh, this here. Oh, it does look like it will go sort of sideways in it. Um, but I want to keep these here sort of uniform. Would it go this way? Because we could put it like that, that there. Will that fit alright? Yeah. But obviously, if it was flat, it would be better. There we 
There we go. So that's that. Well, see, that's not going to work because, first of all, um, they need to be straightened. So let's get rid of those. Should have thought of that before doing that. I want to keep these here low enough to the sort of ground. And I want that wee thing um, pointing towards where it needs to be. I see three. And build that across. And uh, build another bit of a panel on it. Um, we'll build everything first and then try and make it as cheap as possible. Right. So that's that. And then we go multiple. So that's four here. And same here. So that's one of them, right? Okay, so that's a wee bit. Um, it's a bit big. So that's the footprint of it so far. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think what we should do is move these here panels back. One. So we go three, and I'm going to put. Um, this is only temporary. Again, as I say, I'm going to tidy this here up and everywhere. I should have actually done that this way. And finish off with the panels to here. Oh, sugar. And to here. Now, that's the middle. So, what we'll do is we will keep that bar in there. That'll be the middle of it. And in fact, I would rather keep that as the middle. So let's um, build this here out. And build up. That's going to be the middle. There we go. And get rid of this here. That. That. That's it. So that is the middle of it. So obviously... We'll put um, things like a gyro on it, a uh, remote block, etc. These will all go on it, but I want to put a gyro on this here first. That's going to go on top. I don't want any subgrids um, because that will cause it to drift. So that's the main piece. Uh, then we'll need an antenna. In fact, actually the antenna can go in the middle and I'll move that. There's no small grid version of this here, is there? Nope, not yet anyway. It'd be cool to have a, wee, a small grid version of an antenna. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. That's gonna go there. So let's get rid of this. And that's gonna go facing forwards. And seven. That's going to go here. Gyro. And then we'll have a battery for storing the power. Ooh, I didn't really think about these. Uh, ooh. Let's see. How's this gonna work? We could plunk this on top. Hmm. Well, we we did say we only needed. Uh, we did say we only needed a couple of panels. So what we could do actually is, um, we could go with seven, um, panels, and then do those half ones. That would actually make it look a wee bit more interesting. So let's see. Put that facing this way. So we can see it. And then we'll go with those half panels that we've seen. Which are these ones here. Uh, can I go that way? What happens if I go that way there? Now we'll go with this way here. I think that would look pretty cool like this. Uh, we need the other one. There we go. Or can we put it like that? I think that would look actually pretty cool. Put it on the end. And this one can go here. There it goes. So that's what it looks like. That actually looks a wee bit menacing, which is pretty cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, effectively seven panels here. And we did work it out earlier on that seven panels would be enough. 
more than enough for this. So we've got that there. We've got the battery. How much power is that outputting? I don't know. Uh, we've no interface. So we will have to put a control panel on it so we can access it and control it. Uh, I'm going to switch that for that. And I don't want to block out the logo. I like the wee logo on that. So I want to put this on the back of it like that. Now, uh, so we've got solar panels, uh, warfare battery, so that is stored power. So it's got one, it can take up to one megawatt hour. And current output is six. Uh, which is trying to run. Let me just see if. Whack that up to 50. It says 200. And that is put now. To current output is 51. Max output is 4 megawatts. So that's plenty for what this here does. Oh, the weather's gone a wee bit bad. Let's turn that off. There we go. Nice and clear. So, um, right. Okay, so we've got the battery. We've got that. We've got the gyro. Uh, we need a remote block. And I'm going to put the remote block on this bit here. And uh, we can get rid of this. Because that uh, is attached there. Uh, let's get the remote block. G remote. And obviously put a camera on it so we can see what's happening. Uh, so that's going to face forwards this way. Like that. And we'll put a camera on the front of this. So we can see what's happening. Or do we put a camera facing up the ways? Hmm. We will be able to pan it around remotely as well. I think we should put a camera. One of those, uh, these ones here. Let's put that uh, here. And let's put that facing this way. Uh, so that will look i know we're looking at the antenna but we'll be able to see the surrounding bit and be able to see sort of how wide everything is so let's go to the camera tap on the camera and view so that's what we see that's what we want okay so that's that um what else do we need so we've got the antenna we've got this we've got that we've got a battery for power in it we need a programmable block for the script uh, buh, buh, buh. Program a block. Let's replace the gyro. And uh, that's going to be the computer module for it. So we can put that somewhere. I don't want to block those wee lights. There we go. And then that's going to be a script. Uh, so that is edit. Uh, browse scripts, AC solar alignment script. I think there might be some redundancy. Oh, no, it's okay. I thought there was going to be some redundancies in it. And then we have to set it up to. Ba -ba -ba -ba, to set it up that it will let it be using the gyro. Let's see, that's powerful back. Uh, let's see. So, enable light management to find. So, these are LCD panels, time statistics, settings for enthusiasts. Um, I'm going to do this here off camera. Oh, wait, here we are. Uh, gyro alignment pause duration. So, yeah, I'm going to figure this here um, off camera, but I will set it up to be AC solar alignment and then set this here up to do it. So that's that. Um, it's gonna have. Does it need thrusters? The only thrusters that we can put up on on space are hydrogen, and I don't really want to put hydrogen on this. The idea is to just plunk it up in space, get the mothership to sort of stop, disconnect, and fly the mothership away. But this needs to be at zero. But if there is a bit of a drift, it's not gonna drift no like much. We'll obviously not put it 50 kilometers away. Put it at like 45. So it's got a five kilometer window. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see what else we're missing. So obviously it's got power. It's got that. It's able to turn. It's got a camera so we can see what's happening with it. 
I don't think there's anything else, and I've got the script. So, yeah, I think we're good on that. So what's left now is to give it a bit of a paint job. And what I would like to do as well is replace... I should have actually um, turned off. I uh, turned on the mirror on this here. So we'll get that. We'll go number four. In fact, can I turn on the mirror now? There we go. Uh, so we need the this here, and then we need the flat block, which is going in between. Right, so that's made it a wee bit cheaper so far. Obviously, this here won't be part of it. That's just, well, that's just that. Uh, we've got, I would have actually liked if that antenna was in the middle there. In fact, I'm very tempted to move that down a block. Yeah, let's do that. So if I delete, that's not going to fall, is it? Nope. Uh, let's go with six, put that back in there, and gyro, put that down below. There we are. So that's the antenna. And then what we'll do is, that's the battery there, so we can go with four. Like that. Make it look like it's sort of supported there. Um, because aesthetically we we will like it. Uh, it looks okay. It's a weird looking thing, but that's it's very basic. That's all it needs to do. Now it needs to have a merge block to connect with uh something to put it up. Now it looks like we'll only get away with maybe building two of these and putting them on a mothership. So we'll build them. A second one sort of like facing the mirror we have this right here so if we're going to be attaching it to a mothership they need to be able to join to each other so there'll be a merge block in the front of this and a merge block on the back of this somewhere they need to be able to connect to each other so we can get like a string of them out uh, if this here was turned around would you be able to how many blocks is that I'm just gonna do something here real quick. Uh, change this here to orange. I want to see how many squares that is. Uh, but oh, that's not right. Let's go with. Uh, I need to just check to see how many squares. Right, so that's 26. 26. That's 26, and how many blocks is it from the middle out? Uh, 17 and 17 is 34. Is that? Yeah, that's more than enough. So that could actually fit sideways. That could actually fit sideways in there. So we could actually put a merge block on the end here, and another merge block there, and build a string of them. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. So let's get rid of this and this. Get a merge block. Uh, oh yeah, the merge blocks need to be able to detach from each other as well. Small merge block. If we put the merge block like this and we build another one beside it, it's going to... Yeah, it's going to cause it to... Um, uh, I'm going to step up. It's not going to be able to detach itself from, its, from itself, if you know what I mean. So that'll go eight. Yeah. So you get a merge block. That connects that string of them going together. That'll be turned around 90 de degrees so it fits sideways this here. We join a whole load of them together. I would say if we could probably get away with five of them in a string. Then we use a mothership that will have hydrogen thrusters to pull this thing about. Um, and move it, but needs to be able to carry the weight of all these here. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly go off camera, turn this here 90 degrees around, and put it, uh, build five of them after each other. Um, we'll save that as a blueprint, 
and then we'll create the mothership differently. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So let me just uh, turn this here around 90 degrees and attach a bunch of them together. Okay, so that's us back. So I've done a quick paint job and I've just realized three is plenty. I think five would be too much to uh, navigate down the tunnel, especially when you have something of this here length. So do three at a time. So what I done was I just took it off that there, put it here, saved it as a blueprint uh, and had it renamed and all that there. And then what I done was I sent them up into space and it is working perfectly. So let me just sit here for a second. So you can see there's, there's one there at 144 kilometers away. So that's very good. So let me just um, uh, turn these here off for a second. Can I go into the grid here and turn all them off? Ba -ba -ba, looking for the antennas. There, there. That's that. And same thing with this here. Just turn them all off. There we go. So you've got three of them up there. There's a hunter and four. 44, one at 96 and one at 48. So every 48 kilometers I just put them up and uh, that seems to be good enough. That's also something you need to be careful with, with the mothership. You can't be going up blasting and uh, sticking it up there. Otherwise we'll end up missing it and disconnect and we lose the mothership. The mothership as well, um, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, do that in the next episode. That will be the one that will carry this whole lot into space. So I'm going to put something like two ta hydrogen tanks on it, a few hydrogen thrusters in each direction, six axes, oh the three axes in each direction opposite as well and use this here to get it up. Hopefully um, an engine on each axis is enough to lift this entire thing. I, I think it will, but hopefully it will. But um, yeah, no, that's it for this here episode. As I said in the next one we will be doing the mothership and we will get that built and then we'll head back over to Hardcore Survival and build this. Um, as the way it is so that is something to look forward to now that's it for this here episode thanks again for watching if you have any comments or any suggestions do drop them down below or visit discord channel that is linked in the description follow the discord channel for the schedule as well as the information board they'll be able to see what games we are playing as well as when those games are coming out onto youtube if you're enjoying the content ooh, there's lightning if you're enjoying the content do you consider subscribing and drop a like if you enjoy what you see as you know, it have show what people are interested in the most, and I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. Um, just after a recent milestone with YouTube, we have gone past 500 subscribers, so I have put on memberships as well. I am looking to make a, a exclusive content for that, so if you are interested, it's only 99p a month. I've kept it as cheap as possible for um, anybody to join it. Uh, but yeah, I will be putting exclusive content in that um, maybe a few more scripting tutorials um, Or maybe even a couple of games that um, I can put on as well But I'm open to suggestions as well. It's only a new thing. So I'm trying to get into it But yeah, no, that's it for this episode. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you in the next one I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators you help make these videos possible